Okay, so let's go into the configuration for the sales document type. Go to SPRO IMG Sales and Distribution Sales Sales Documents Sales Document Header Define Document Types You already know this path, so I'm not making a copy of that. Then go here and select the document type that you have created, which is Hollywood quotation. Select that, go inside it. And the first thing that you see here is number ranges, first section. Okay, so what's a number range? A number range represents a sequence of numbers or an interval of numbers that that particular sales document type can have. For example, this is Z H Q T, right? That's the document type. And it has an internal number range. Let's talk about that first. The int over here stands for internal number range. And then there is an external number range and that is 0 2 first off what is a number range when you create a quotation go to VA 21 use the document type Z H Q T and then put your customer in whatnot and then you click the save button so you enter the details and then you save it, it will generate a number. You want to see it in action? Just open another window. Go to VA21. Z H Q T and then put some sales or distribution channel division put your customer in there and then put some material put a date today's date and then have the quotation be valid until say one week and then if you save it it's going to generate a number here Hollywood quote and then it's two followed by so many zeros and then uh, 42 so this is the quotation number so you enter the details here like customer material valid to etc and then you got this number so why did the system take this number two zero 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 four two and not something else and it has created it automatically you didn't ask it to use a particular number it has automatically taken it so where is it configured it's configured here so zero five refers to a number range a from a starting number range and a to an ending number range and this falls somewhere between so if you want to see what's the number range associated with 05 you gotta go here and look at what this 05 really represents I'm gonna go back and look at number ranges see number ranges for sales documents so select that before I do that let me take a screenshot so this is where number ranges are configured config for number ranges so go back 
and if you want to see all the different intervals go there and 0 5 corresponds to 2 followed by six zeros and then ends in 2 4 9 9 9 and the current number is 2 0 0 0 0 4 2 right so let me explain what this means so if you go here this 5 the number range for 5 starts with 2 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 it's like 2 million or whatever and until two and a half million and the current number range is 2 0 0 0 0 4 2 and that's what the system has given you if you create another quotation now this will become 0 3 so this is like a counter that keeps on increasing from 2 million all the way through two and a half million the more quotations you create the more numbers you consume this is a number range and this check mark over here if you don't check it this is internal what's an internal number an internal number range is something that the system generates automatically within this range of numbers but if you mark it as external that means that within this number range the system is not going to choose anything it will ask you the user to choose a number between this number range this set of numbers so when do you want to use external versus when do you want to use internal in this case the system is giving you a, a privilege of using both internal as well as external if this is deleted then the system defaults to external that's how it works so what's an internal number range and what's an external number range internal is always system generated you don't have to prompt or the system does not prompt you to enter a number in external the system prompts you to enter a number and it has to be within a number range specified in the number range interval if you want to create your own number range no problem just make a copy of it call it z1 and then you can choose a number range and you can make it either internal or external so at any given time you can view the intervals the different number range intervals you can go and change these intervals like you can change this to whatever as long as there is no overlap and you can view the current status as in you know what's the current status you can reset it to any number that you want like if if, if you want to skip some numbers that's fine you can go change it from 13,358 to say if you want to start with 15,000 you can make it 15,000 and save it okay so that's a number range.